Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing the new update that was put out for Project Kaiju yesterday and uh, kind of like my thoughts on it. And yeah, so um, the main thing with this update was some infinite combos got patched, which was pretty good. And um, some kaijus that I didn't even know had infinite combos got patched. Like, I didn't know that Godzilla 2019 or 2000 had an infinite combo, but apparently they did. So I'm not sure how that happened, but it did. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, a bunch of others got patched. The infinite combo list was Godzilla 2019, uh, Godzilla 2000, Godzilla 2014, Kiryu, Mechagodzilla 2021, Borga, Alizaro, and Ghidorah. Um, some other things that were changed was Alizaro and Kiryu's Rage don't activate at 75 anymore, so they would activate at 100, which means that Crystalac is the only Kaiju that's Rage activates at 75 right now. Um, regarding to my new Ermain, uh, Gigan, uh, Special 1 was Increase and Range. There was a Range gain from Special 1 and Special 2, which was Increase, so... That's uh, interesting. So overall, Gigan got nerfed because of the special one. And uh, that kind of stinks for Gigan mains, but it is what it is. Um, another thing that uh, that was updated was the uh, there was a freeze glitch with Ghidorah and the frozen Ghidorah, or frozen Ghidorah and Kiryu, I mean, where the ultimate would just freeze your opponent and basically make them... Like, you could reset while the damage over time was happening and then have your opponent be stuck in place, so... That got patched, which is pretty cool. Um, Overmoth got buffed, but the buff I tested it out yesterday was really not that significant. And it, I thought it would be good for combos, because Special 3 and... Um, I think it was Grab got stun time increased, but it wasn't really that, you know, viable. So, I don't think it was that, you know, worth it or that beneficial to Overmoth. I feel like if Overmoth needed anything, it would be faster attack speed, and um, I don't know, just faster speed in general, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Maybe more damage as well, but it is what it is. It's probably still the worst guy in the game right now. Um, and then the main uh, Kaiju that got buffed was in fact Kong. Um, so Kong before was kind of bad because it its combos weren't very good, its range is terrible, its ultimate is, you know, it's still better than Mecha's, but it's still pretty garbage. Um, and yeah, so Kong uh, had it grabs re added into combos, which you can see the gameplay right now is uh, some uh, Kong grab combos. So yeah, those are pretty cool because the combos can go to like. 300 something without the axe, like 400 something with the axe. So, yeah, they're pretty good now, but the range is still terrible, so I don't think that did too much for Kong. But still, it's good to see Kong getting a little bit of love every once in a while. Um, also, for Kong, Special 1 uh, now moves you farther forward and does less knockback. And I tested if it could be used for combos, but it didn't seem to be useful for any combos, so. Yeah, I don't think uh, that's happening. Um, Kong Special 2 does more knockback, so I have tested and you can use that one in combos now. So that's uh, pretty good for Kong. Um, so enough of Kong, I think that's all the things. No, there was one more thing changed with Kong. Um, the invincibility frames after roaring was increased by 0.65 of a second, so... That's actually pretty good. Like, I know most of you guys don't really care about timing too much, but that's, uh, like, if you think of it like this. Yesterday, I was playing, and I roared, and then uh, a Godzilla 2000 Ultimate basically got used on me, and um, I was able to completely, you know, make the uh, attack useless thanks to the, um, to the, to the roar or whatever, the roar iframes. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, another thing we have here was Kiryu and Alzaro grab ranges were altered. Um, I didn't really check Alzaro's too much, so I'm not sure if I got nerfed or buffed, but Kiryu's, 
it seems like it got longer because I was able to grab someone from very far away, more than I should have been able to. So yeah, that was interesting, and um, it's just going to make Kiryu a little bit better, but I don't think it really needed it, because Kiryu is already very good and it's in the meta right now. So I'm not sure if it really needed that buff, but um, it, it got it anyway, so yeah. Um, Godzilla 2019, Rage got fixed, you can cancel it before, and now you can't, so yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Titanosaurus also got changed, the special 3 range was increased by a couple of studs, which, for those of you who don't know, that's not really that much, but, you know, it's still, it's a buff, a buff's a buff. So, Godzilla 2000 iframes got, uh, in, uh, whoa, they were fixed after Roaring, so they must have been broken before. I don't play 2000 too much, so I didn't really notice that, but yeah. And then, I think the biggest thing here is, well, not the biggest thing. I think the biggest thing was the Kong, you know, a little bit of rebalances for Kong, but the reason why I'm even playing Crystalac in this round was because I believe that Crystalac has really made it to S tier now, because it's just so overpowered. I know I'm not that good of a Crystalac main, but there are people who are really good at Crystalac, and this one thing here, um, this one little update, made Crystalac really good. So they made it so that with Crystalac and Godzilla 2000, the rage was no longer blockable. So that means you used to be able to easily block Crystalac rage and take literally like no damage for it, and it would just be a waste. But now, as of this update, uh, Crystalac can hit you like with the Rage, even if you try to block it. So, Crystalac has good damage now, and it has good speed, it has good attack range, it has good attack speed. Honestly, I think it is the best Kaiju in the game right now. And although most of you guys, or not most of you, but a lot of you guys would disagree with that, um, you can't deny that it wouldn't at least make it a lot more overpowered than it was previously, so yeah. Um, normal Kiryu dodges uh, are now make you go farther than Brawler, so there's a little more uh, diversity between Brawler Kiryu and normal Kiryu. I still think Brawler Kiryu is better, regardless of how far you go with the dash, because Brawler has way better combos way better range and just you know it's just better in general so yeah um a couple other things were fixed um blade removed damage over time so pretty much adding damage to your combo um when using frozen Ghidorah or Kiryu ultimate uh it was making people like the stuck so i'm pretty sure that was with the grab or not the grab the grab glitch but that was the frozen glitch that was patched before and apparently the um Godzilla 2000 ultimate wasn't hitting anyone so apparently that got fixed which is pretty cool but what i've noticed is that the crystalac ultimate also doesn't hit very consistently so i don't know if that was intentional or not i don't think it was but they might have to fix that if that was, um, if that wasn't intended. But right now, I think um, Crystalac is going to dominate over the tier list for a little bit until you know some other kaiju comes up that's like somewhat of a counter to Crystalac. But right now, the game's not really experiencing too many updates. So yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen. But right now, Crystalac is really overpowered in my opinion. Because it just has, it has everything. It's got good speed, good range. Like, the left click range is honestly insane for this guy. So, I don't know if it really needed a buff, but it got it regardless, and it is what it is. So, yeah, we are approaching the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think of this rebalance, and uh, if you're new, subscribe, and like the video if you did enjoy. So... As always, see you guys later.